Good morning, boys and girls. We are back again, and we are learning about Jesus and what he's done in the Gospels. So we're, our lesson today is actually when Jesus talks to a Samaritan woman. But I want to give you a little background on Samaria and the Samaritans. So these people did not like God's people, the Jews. So the Jews and the Samaritans were not friends. And this was happening in Jesus's day when he was alive, but the history of it actually was from hundreds of years before. And so in our classes, we've been learning the Bible timeline and we have the magnet that actually says exile. So you're gonna talk about those today. But in the exile, which was hundreds of years before Jesus was ever even born, there were God's people and these other other people came in called the Babylonians and they actually captured God's people. They took the smartest and brightest ones back to Babylon where they lived and they actually left the poor, the sick, and those who couldn't work really. And so maybe they were older or they just could not do what they wanted them to do in Babylon. So they were left in this area called Judah. And so this area for 70 years, these people lived with no leader, no real structure. And so they started to kind of go and mingle with people outside of the area. They got married to people who did not love God. And they also started to adopt some of their culture and things that didn't please God. So when the people who were those bright ones that were captured by the Babylonians, when they returned, to this area, it had become what we call Samaria. And they were not pleased with what was happening. It was against what God really wanted them to do. So God's people had come back to the area and they wanted to rebuild the temple and they did. And then these Samaritans were not happy. They didn't get along. And so that's where it kind of started, this hatred towards them. So in our story today, we see that the people who loved God and the Jews, they were in Galilee. And if they needed to get to Jerusalem or somewhere lower, this is the Samaria, Samaria area. If they were in Galilee, they would actually go around Samaria to get to Jerusalem, which is right here, because they hated Samaria and Samaritans so much that they would go out of their way to get to where they needed to go. That was how deep the hatred was. But Jesus, we see, is actually gonna break this barrier. He's gonna break this hatred. And his people, the disciples, were going from Galilee and they actually went straight through Samaria. And on their journey, they got tired and they were hot. And so they stopped at a well and they were gonna get some water. Well, there was a woman there and she actually shared water with Jesus because he asked her. And this was a whole nother thing that most Jewish men didn't even talk to women in public. And so Jesus was talking to a Samaritan who a lot of the Jewish people did not like at the time. He was also talking to a woman who a lot of the men wouldn't talk to at the time. So Jesus was breaking all of this um, hatred that people had towards each other. And so he asked her for some water and she gave it to him. And he actually told her that he could provide living water, which meant that regular water would last for a day or two and then you'd need more water. And he said, I can offer you some water that will never run dry. It's eternal water for you. And so she asked a little bit more and he explained that he was going to um, be the, or he was the Messiah. And so he was going to save the people and she believed in him. And she actually ran back into town and told everyone. And there were so many people who accepted Jesus that day and who believed in who Jesus was because this woman went into town and told them. So I hope you enjoy this next video as we dig a little bit deeper into what Jesus did and how he broke those barriers and loved all people. Jesus had been teaching in Judea. He and his disciples began traveling back to Galilee. They traveled through Samaria and stopped in a town with a well. Jesus' disciples went into town to buy food. 
While Jesus was at the well, a Samaritan woman came to get water from the well. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. The woman was surprised. Why are you talking to me? She asked. You are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. Jesus said, I asked you for a drink. You don't know who I am. If you did, you would have asked me for a drink and I would give you living water. The woman was confused. She said, sir, this well is deep and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said, anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water I give will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water I give will become a well inside you and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to this well to get water. Go get your husband, Jesus said. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus knew she was telling the truth. He said, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. Jesus was right. I see you are a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet could explain something to her, she said. The Samaritans worship here on a mountain, but the Jews say we need to worship at the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, soon you will not need to be in either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus stayed in their town for two days. Many more believed because of what Jesus said. They told the woman, we no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the savior of the world. Jesus offers something better than physical water. He gives us himself. Jesus gives the Holy Spirit to everyone who comes to him by faith. We can worship him as Lord and Savior wherever we are.